You could say the Event 9 final table is a tournament of champions. Event 4 winner, Chino Ream. Event 5 winner, Andrew Lichtenberger. Event 6 winner, Orpen Kisakshioglu. Event 8 winner, Steven Chitwick. All here to battle chip leader Justin Bonomo for the penultimate title at the 2023 Poker Masters. Welcome back to Las Vegas, the PokerGo studio to be exact. My name is Remco Rinkema. Joining me as always, Donnie Peters for coverage of the 2023 Poker Masters. It is time for the Event 9 final table, a 25K no limit hold'em buy in events. And boy, do we have a stacked final table. It is the Tournament of Champions, Donnie. What do we got here today? Pretty much everyone that has won an event here at the Poker Masters has just been placed at this final table. Orpen Kasachikoglu, Steven Chidwick, Andrew Lichtenberger, Chino Reem, all previous winners. And here's a look at those final table chip counts presented by Storm X. Bonomo on top with a massive chip lead. Not as big as Chidwick's chip lead just yesterday, or excuse me, on Saturday. However, Bonomo here in the driver's seat to pick up some much needed points in the race for the Purple Jacket. And the other players that I mentioned who've already won a tournament at the series here this week are going to be looking to challenge Vladas Tamasauskas for the Purple Jacket race. Donnie, where's Vladas? Isn't he supposed to make every final table? <laughs> That's what I thought. After uh, making those first three final tables of the series, of course, winning event one and number three, he hasn't been at the final table. Yeah, and the final Taking table. a little break. The final table right now is paying out at least forty-six thousand dollars for sixth place, all the way up to three hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars for the eventual winner. Daniel Rezai from Austria is our short stack with ten big blinds. But Lucky Chewy and Shino Reem also have plenty of work left to be done. They are all below twenty bigs. We're playing 15 k, thirty k. What a thirty k big blind anti cards are in the air. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. Let us know who you're rooting for, for because obviously, Donnie, if any of these guys who've like already won an experience. event wins again, really they're going to be within really striking good. distance of that purple jacket. Yeah, I mean, Chino Ream will be, at least can put himself in the best contention for the, the purple jacket. If Chino Ream comes back and wins today, he would overtake Vladis Tomasowskis. The others, Chidwick, Kesechikoglu, and Lichtenberger could get very close, but ultimately wouldn't overtake Tomasowskis. As always at the Poker Masters, a stacked final table. No soft spots. I'm assuming, Donnie, lots of GTO-approved play between these six. Sure. I mean, it's not DP-approved. <laughs> I want the money in. Exactly. I want pl people playing for the win. I've been told, and someone oh, in the yeah, chat can prove me wrong, cards, uh, that GTO yeah. actually makes the game more aggressive. How do you get all the mark cards? Yes. But then um, ICM the might do the opposite. <laughs> ICM is for poor people, Donnie. That's what they say. The race for the jacket. Yeah, it like a little Here it is. Thing. 200 points up for grabs like today. Anymore. Donnie, Chino Reem and Steven Chidwick are anyways. almost playing that's a satellite today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yes, and then <laughs> not in that top five. <laughs> cool. We have Thank you. Andrew Lichtenberger also at this final table. Lucky Chewy. Thank you. Won event number five on it his 36th birthday. He has 266 points coming into today. Yeah, yeah, and then Orpin Kisachikoglu no, won event number six. Exactly he has 219 open. points coming in today. So with 200 points up top for the winner of this event really number nine. Expensive. I don't think they can do a new one for each day. Kisachikoglu and Lichtenberger, as well as Steven Shidwick, could put themselves right there. And then Chino, of course, can take the top spot. Here's a look at our chips in play. The blue five case. Purple 25k and yellow 100k chips. Seems like that's still within that budget. <laughs> yeah, I thought there were more to be honest. Feels though we How much did it cost to make this whole studio? I know it millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering like how much yeah, did Kerry invested for this? Because I love it. He did good. It's, I'm just, it's just it did cost a pretty penny for sure. <laughs> well, let's speculate on that. I have no idea, <laughs> and neither does Donnie. Uh, here's a look at our final table chip leaders and where they ended up. 
both Orpen and Chitlick going wire to wire to take it down. And you can see on the screen, event one and event three, Vladas Tamasauskas coming from behind to take the win. So the question is, will Justin Bonomo close it out today, go wire to wire, or will we yeah, see someone else exactly. challenge him for the win? The real question is, what is this, buddy? Ah, Octopi Poker. Octopi it Poker. It is a startup that I have <laughs> with Victoria Lipschitz, Nick Schulman, and a few others. Okay. And he's one of our advisors. Okay. And we're a poker tech company, and we have a focus on education. Mm -hmm. It's a very social platform, so if you upload hands you played online or input hands you played live, there's a commentary functionality built into the studio. Mm -hmm. So you can chat, you can, you can annotate it as the author of the hand, or you can have other people comment on it who have access to it. It's kind of like Google Docs for hand histories. Oh, cool. And then we have a few other things which I will share momentarily. What I would like to know is, yeah. can we invest and when is it going to sell for like $300 a share on the market? Let's talk after the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely signed up for your beta already. I know. Like waiting. I know. I saw. We're going to get you in there. Don't worry. Well, when, when are we going to be uh, 100 millionaires from after this company is what I want to know. <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. Donnie, <laughs> how much did Cheetah Reem get paid by Lucky Chewy to <laughs> casually <laughs> bring up Octopi Poker? No, I, mean, I, I feel like he got That's paid okay. by Poker Go first. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the studio so wearing the Poker Go hoodie. One of the now poker now possibly out. paid by <laughs> Octopi <laughs> Poker. What's <laughs> after this? Besides like an actual <laughs> poker site, eventually one of the uh, you know other poker things has to do good, right? Why not this one? Yeah, I completely agree. I'm mean, the stuff that like uh, Brian, uh, Victorian told me, like what they're doing the final tables, what's the plans? Like it looks really amazing. Like, That's what I was. I'm really curious, next. like how so this project is going to go. We're building a database of streamed hands, so eventually these hands that we're playing now will be in the database. Oh, nice! And you'll be able to look up, you know, if you have a final table or a day two, mm -hmm. check out hands that have been played publicly by people that you're going to play with. Right. And then for commentators, they can look it up and see like, oh, you know, when was the last time Chewie and Chino played against each other? Mm -hmm. How they do against one another? Here are all the hands they played. This is like data mining. You don't need the database for that. <laughs> but it's all public domain. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like not like just for some people. Everybody can access it. It's exactly. also like not like huge samples. It's just like interesting to see like. Bonomo, totally. second on the all-time money list after yeah, that obviously. massive score Brent Kenny had everyone. earlier this year. The last year time at the me and Chewie played hands was Two on uh, Saturday. <laughs> And, uh, Those he, weren't on stream, though. And he won <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I, I won most of them. That is true. I think I won one. <laughs> I did win one. I remember because I had Queen Jack. That's the one I won. It's a big boy hand. Donnie, speaking of that all-time money list, of course, that list has changed a lot over the last. 15 years since you and I entered the game. But still, it feels as though Bonomo and Kenny are in a real sort of battle for that top spot for the last few years. Yeah, it's really those two, and then everyone else is playing catch up. I believe Steven Chidwick is third on the list, but I think he's around 10 million or so behind, so it would take <laughs> it would take quite quite the boost for Steven Chidwick. Not that he can catch up eventually, you know, it just becomes you know, a volume game at that point. I have... 4.45 behind. I have 4.45. Oh, no. Sorry. I have less. Cool. Thank you. I have 4.30. Thank you. I did that wrong. You got me by five. Hi, Leo. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm gonna do that every final table I'm on for the rest of my life. I don't think anyone <laughs> minds. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely sentiment. Chino Rim with a shout out to his offspring, which I was not aware of. Daddy Daddy Chino trying to make some money here. Yeah. Theo. Theo. Oh. Recently, yeah. Oh, the named after Tio Thran? Theo Tran? Must be, yeah. The third thing we have is a marketplace. So 
Anyone oh, we're offer, not done yet on Octopi Poker, Donnie. <laughs> like right now, you Are you guys taking notes at home? Is this Phil Hamid or is this <laughs> Lucky Chewy? Somewhere. Can we still invest? If you wanted to make the force, you could do it. You could sell it through there. You could take a small cut and then. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's really anything for. Especially for training, someone like coaching. me who doesn't know anything about like software development or like how to do a Yeah, court. you could just teach a Chino how Chino thinks about poker course. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. would be into it. Yeah. That's cool. Totally. Donnie, how much would you pay for the Chino course? Yes. But only if it's a course on him playing 10K or higher tournaments. Right. I do find it fascinating, and I, I don't want to sort of lump people together that easily, but I, I get the sense from players like, you know, the Mizrakis oh. and Chino and Patrick Antonius that when they to voice how yeah. they play poker... It, it, it leaves out this sort of X factor that, that they have <laughs> that makes them so special. They are not the type of players that play by the book, so to say. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to be face down in a solver. That said, you know, they, they may not speak about things in solver terminology. They may not exactly understand exactly how a solver is thinking, but I think a lot of those players understand the concepts in, in, in a different sort of the, way um, than, you know, a Lucky Chewy or a Justin Bonimo might understand them. Yeah. But the wall welcomes all. they're still extremely the good. And then all. those players yeah. as well, all the right. ones that Bruce you pointed out, even Daniel Negreanu. Uh, Daniel Negreanu is like the perfect the blend of both, right? But going to see him like these players, the Chinos, the Mizrakis, etc., have that live poker element to them where they just call it being a field player, call it live reads, call it whatever you want, energy. I don't know exactly what to call it, but... They have it in the live sense, right? Yep. Call it white magic, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's honestly funny because English is, is my second language. So for me, I've learned English by just doing it a whole lot and figuring it out on my own. But I couldn't explain to you what a verb is or how to conjugate verbs. I have no idea how to do any of that stuff. So I, I cannot explain to you the theory behind the English language. But I know how to apply it, yeah. and yep. that is sort of the same way for many of these players, I think. And it's fun to see contrasting styles, which makes this game so fascinating as we see Lucky Chewy raising up the 70K with the um, big boy hand, as he just called it, Queen Jack suited. Daniel Rezai here, very short in the big blind. How does the mind game play out as far as he's going to look stronger raising my big blind because I'm short? Or he's going to look weaker because I'm more likely to fold because I'm so short? Uh, I think he'll look a little Already? bit stronger. I mean, he's raising into yeah, some bigger stacks behind him. He obviously has to battle with that extreme short stack in the big blind. Given the chip position that Lichtenberger is in, you know, kind of being in that that weird middle ground of those people that are bunched together that aren't chip leaders but also okay. aren't severe short stacks. I mean, he's going to have to have the upper part of his range or, or, you know, will likely have the upper part of his range. Blinds up here. Full. 20K, 40K with a 40K big blind ante. As we said, Bonomo started out with a big chip lead. 50% of the chips in play right now, pocket nines. Looking to do some more damage. Uh, but, Donnie, as I brought up earlier the I was sort of jokingly saying that this is sort of a satellite for especially for guys like Chino and Chidwick because of the points that they could get today as well as the prospect of the 50k in which perhaps a smaller result could get them the jacket and the 50k cash bonus do you think that comes into play in maybe take even this hand for example where Chidwick finds ace queen offsuit I think it's more indirectly at play like I think they want to ultimately perform the best that they can in this given situation on every single hand, right? What comes as a secondary byproduct of that is putting yourself in the best best position to then challenge for the Purple Jacket and the $50,000 championship bonus. Action back around oh. to Bonomo. Moves all in. Chidwick makes the call, and we got a massive coin flip on our hands, not only for the way this final table will play out, but also in the race for the purple jacket. Shared suits. Let us know in the chat who you got, Chibwick or Bonomo. Mm. Lots of money on the line here. Lots of prestige as well. Chidwick, of course, winner of event number eight. Looking to go back to back here. Let's see the flop. 
Ace, 10, 6. Chidwick gets what he's looking for. Bonomo looking for a 9 or running straight cards to take this one down. Massive change in dynamics if this thing holds up. 5 on the turn reduces Bonomo's outs to 2 Pretty clean sure ones here. Chidwick about to receive 1.45 million unless this river is a 9. It is the Queen of Hearts, Chidwick, with a full double up. And Donnie, what does this mean for the way this final table will play out? Chidwick to the immediate left of Bonomo, taking a big chunk <laughs> out of his stack. The way. Yeah, I mean, Bonomo, I'm sure, would have loved like to <laughs> get Chidwick out. Both get that stack off the table, also get Stephen Chidwick off the table, who is to his direct left. Now I think this opens the door for Chidwick to, you know, yep. start working to climb up further. And, okay, you know, it also 40. puts those shorter stacks at a position where they're going to really be looking to double up now. They would all would have loved that ladder, that's for sure, yeah, had those nine tails. Yeah, you have a good body for it. 2.0. Like you're kind of lanky. Yeah. Right. These are important things. Yeah, yeah, right. I believe Chidwick is in the same seat the that he was in to, uh, when he won the yeah, event number eight final table. So, wow. Yeah. A lot of uh, juju going around here. The lucky seat, perhaps. Also, Donnie, I want to say Tomasowska was sitting in that seat when he won event number three. Oh, that's just the seat. That is the seat. Goes into all of it, bro. Yeah. Lots of Chubik so fans in the yeah. chat, by the way. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Haven't had a chance to dive in here, but uh, it is good to see you all back here. I was away for a few days, but it's good to be back. If you're uh, enjoying the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. Still can't believe we hit over half a million subscribers a couple weeks ago. <coughs> Caitlin Jeffers with us, as always. Kevin, Topher, Teddy, and Christy, our moderators, Armix, Indiana. Thank you all so much for tuning 80, in. Correct? Yes. Yeah. I have 310 behind. Thanks. Chino's going to Thank defend you. here with the Ace 5 suited out of the big blind versus the min rays from Justin yes. Bottom. Flops top pair. Several times at these final tables, this is Chino's third final table, we've seen him just tell the other player what he has in chips. So. That's nothing out of the norm that Chino did it there. Looks like a small stab oh. coming here from Bonomo, hoping to take this one down. Little does he know, Chino got exactly what he was looking for, flopping top pair with his ace off the short stack. Bonomo betting 40k. Donnie, can we still sort of quote-unquote slow play here? Yeah, I think you can go either way. I mean, there are some draws out there that you might want to deny equity for. Ballin. That said, Ballin. you can also... Yay! No, look at that. <laughs> Chino takes it down. Good pot for him, and so far, I would say that Daniel Razai hasn't really enjoyed the start of his final table. He's been forced to fold hands. He's down to four big blinds. He saw one double up <laughs> with Stephen Chidwick. Now he saw Chino winning this pot. All right, Chino Reem grabbing a few extra chips here as Daniel Rezai is our short stack. And here's a look at our Dream Seed giveaway. Scan the QR code on your screen right now and make sure you are an annual subscriber to PokerGo. Use promo code DREAM20 to save $20 on your annual subscription. And Donnie, people are officially on the clock. They are on the clock. It's the final week to get in there for the Dream Seed annual subscriber giveaway. We are doing the drawing on Saturday. Saturday will be the final table of the epic Super High Roller Bowl, $300,000 buy-in. That event kicks off on Thursday. So if you want a chance to come out to Vegas, play in that million-dollar free roll, play for a $500,000 first-place prize. So absurd. Let's go. So much money. Rezai, Queen Jack of Hearts, he'll be committing those remaining chips here if he gets it's someone to play with. We have, we have 165 total. Okay. 
I mean, Donnie, Gisek Shioglu is probably willing to gamble <laughs> with just about every hand here. 10-5 yeah, I mean, suited, he's right probably there. in there. Good horse, good horse. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really good timing, too. The delivery is everything with this guy. <laughs> For sure. Uh, not sure if... <laughs> Daniel's Rest. sure. Good fold, good fold. Good fold. Huh? <laughs> Daniel's very sure. <laughs> Rezai from Austria, oh, third on Australia Austria's all-time money list. Don't worry. <laughs> Soon their their software is out and then they will have to analyze for you. <laughs> on the fly. Not, not his first final table here this week, Donnie. No, it's his third cash. I mean, I don't have a strong uh, of this series. He came third That's in event bad. number three for a little bit over one hundred and four thousand dollars. Before, before. <laughs> One of the big things Rezai is pushing forward is trying to get into that top 40 of the PGT season long leaderboard so he can qualify for the PGT championship coming up in January. He's talked about getting those points throughout this series, and he's got 240 points so far. He's outside the top 100, but a win here would move him to 88th and help get him closer to that top 40 mark. It's 80, right? <coughs> I mean, uh, 40, right? Yeah. 40, I love 40, how yeah. Ren Lin's good fold, good fold I started with is uh, so universal uh, now at all these final four, at all these final tables. 70. Oh, 60. Or 60 behind. Interesting spot here for Kisecha Koklu. Let's see if he wants to try and get this in against a button raise. Not the easiest spot given the, the chip stack that Daniel Rezai has. He's only got six big blinds, so Corbin elects to give it up. Bonomo might take a shot to see a flop here. Yep. I always love sort of speculating and, and thinking about what dynamics they went through on day one of this event that now put them in this position. You know, how much history do they carry with them from that full day of play? into this final table. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's a fair bit. I mean, it's also kind of the, the break of the draw. You, right. could, you can get to a final table and almost not having played with anyone until you got down to that single table left. But a lot of these guys, you know, they have a lot of experience with each other um, on the PGT within the studio in general. Of course, there are going to be some guys who don't play exactly everything here, but they come out for the big stuff. You know, Orpin, I think, is a good example of that. Oh. Here for the bigger buy-in events as part of the Poker Masters leading into Super High Roller Bowl. Chino Reem's been more of a fixture recently. Full third. house over full house here. Yeah, Jeez. I was going to say third five <laughs> completes the board. Reem left out to dry here with his deuce. Bonomo in an incredible position to perhaps send Chino to the rail in sixth place. Are we just flicking it in here, Donnie? Bonomo will probably look to shove here. I mean, it, if you check, is your opponent going to check behind with a lot of hands that you don't want him to, but you ultimately want him to call off with? Hands like, you know, an ace-queen, an ace-king, stuff like that. Chino probably would have bet nines plus on the flop, you know, just given his stack, given that, that hand value, you know, wanting to provide some protection towards a more vulnerable overpair. Hey, boys. I'm going to use at least one or two of these things. <laughs> because... And then if Chino does have a hand, yeah. like, you know, I don't know, That's two sixes, out. two sevens, something like that, could probably but get a call here. I mean, there are draws that miss. Six, seven missed, three, four missed. Some other combos of straight draws. Spades obviously missed, too, so... What is Chino... Can't beat any other full house. Analyzing, That's yeah. Problem. That's what I was just about to say. I mean, he's just thinking he can beat... The bluffs, right? Okay. He can beat all those missed draws, and so this is not an easy spot. How do you run the math on only being able to beat bluffs, Donnie? How do you go through that? Are you trying to find Three, hands within this range 40. that could end up on the river in a spot like this? Eight big lines. Yeah. I mean, and then you just got to kind of weigh it based on, on like, right. 
How many hands have value? How many oh, hands are bluffs? I really need you to not <laughs> have an eight here. Or I need you to just not have it. Because I can't beat anything but a bluff. I really need you to not have it. If I call. Sorry, boys, we might use a couple more. <laughs> I have an ace and a deuce. That is what I have. All right, chat. What do you think? Oh. Is you going to get away from this one? Cool. I have it. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Good luck, boys. Chino Ream eliminated. Yeah, makes the call. Bonomo does have it. Donnie, can you can you defend the call here by Chino Ream yeah. as he takes home forty six thousand yes. dollars? Super tough spot there. Bonomo certainly capable of not having it there at, at times. You know, he ultimately had it there in that spot. Probably also worth considering that he had ace deuce offsuit. Chino's hand, the ace deuce off, didn't contain any spades, so you know could create the likelihood that Bonomo has spades in his hand and, and missed, right? So. Tough spot, really tough spot. All right, we're down to five here as we look at the final table chip counts presented by Storm X. Daniel Rezai will gladly take that pay jump. He's our short stack with six big blinds. Bonomo still on top, 63 bigs. However, 36 could have been in his stack as well, but he doubled up Stephen Chidwick, who is now a real force and second in chips. All eyes on Chidwick, though, because he can still overtake Vladas Tomasauskas with a win today in event number nine of the Poker Masters. That would have been disgusting. <laughs> Some pressure off Rezai's back, having made that pay jump. Looking forward to seeing him all in in the next few hands. All in? All in. Four, four Should we all in here? Pocket fours. We've been focused on Rezai so much that we forgot that Chewie is <laughs> very short as well. And speaking of short, Chewie is going to be nine points short of overtaking Vladas Tomasauskas with a win today. So got a little carried away there, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, Vladas was uh, probably sitting at home or maybe sitting at home rooting for Chino to make that <laughs> call because no one else here can ultimately catch him. <laughs> it's still very much going to come down to that 50K. You know, a lot of yeah. players have put up some very impressive results here, not just Vladis Tomasowskis. Chino Reem with that elimination, he has four caches, one win, three final tables. Ren Lin has four caches. Chris Brewer, Lucky Chewy, who we have here, Alex Foxen, also have four caches. So, you know, there's a lot of potential for, I don't know, 10, 15 people to be in the mix. And, yeah, and I think all... It's tricky because you, you want a lot of people in the mix, right? Because you want to create that competition in the final event. You also don't want it to just come down to only that final event. That said, I think everyone that is in contention will be deserving of it, right? Y yes, Thomas Auskas, what he has done so far is certainly Hello. deserving of How much? Two twenty five. the accolades that he's received. But he also did it in the smaller buying event, so it's a little bit tricky. All right, here it is. Rezai all in. He's got the goods. A6 of hearts. That's basically aces when you have six big blinds. <laughs> Let's be real here. Bonomo, Jack-10, offsuit is going to take a stab here at sending Rezai to the rail. The Austrian is ahead here, but needs to fade a whole lot to stay alive in this event. And with a good result today, he can give himself a real chance in the 50K as well. As ace-6-3 rolls off the deck, Bonomo now looking for running cards to send Rezai to the rail, or else... He'll be Maybe back in contention. I don't mind the swap. You don't mind the swap. Turn card is the eight of spades. Okay. That'll do it. Rezai with the double up, much needed. He is now sitting on 510k. 12 big blinds tied, basically, with Mr. Lucky Chewy. The ever-changing dynamics of tournament play, Donnie, it never gets boring. Oh, yes. Here's a look at those final table payouts. 74K guaranteed for the remaining five. A nice little pay jump up to six figures for the final four.
460. 510. 80. Bottom making it 80k. Attacking the blinds. Of course, very easy for him to play at this stage of the event with two short stacks. Chewy, though, defending with the Jack-5 suited. Yep, 380, Chewy. I have exactly 380. Six, deuce, three, rainbow. Yep. This should benefit Chewy's range, Donnie? Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably, but... I don't know, it, it's tricky because Bonomo could be a bit wider, just being the chip leader. Cool. Bonomo's going to take a shot here. Ch Chewy could continue on in this hand now. I mean, the bet is very small, just one big blind. He does have backdoor spades working, also a gutter. Also, you know, worth considering that Jack is an overcard to the board. Look at this little creative check raise here. I don't think there's two other players in this building who have more <laughs> history. Chewy and Bonomo go back to when they were probably 16 years old, having battled for close to two decades at this point. A check raise off a small stack. Bonomo has to give Chewy credit here for either a hand that connects oh. well or a hand that was strong to begin with, and Bonomo gives it up. Very nice creative player. Yes, well done there by Chewy. If you're just tuning in, final table of event number nine of the Poker Masters, 25K buy-in. If you're with us in the chat, please holler at us. Let us know where you're watching from. What's the weather outside? What are you drinking? I'm on my third Coke Zero. I've had a lot of coffee today as well. Donnie, you're an embarrassment to yourself. This is the smallest coffee I've ever seen you bring into this room. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a Starbucks tall for anyone that's wondering. I didn't even know you um, knew what that size was called. I already had a coffee earlier today. And because the 50K starts later than other tournaments, <laughs> our colleague Tim Duckworth came in later. So every morning I message him and I say coffee. <laughs> or he messages me, whoever gets it first. And then we say yes or no or whatever. And today I got the no because he's doing the live reporting for the 50K, but they don't start till. 2 p.m. our time. Right. So knowing that we were going to hop on commentary sooner, he said I might not be there in time. So I got my coffee by myself. Wow. Then he came in, and I was, he's like, you want to go get a coffee? I said, yeah, I can go get another one. So I got to get another one. <laughs> a small one, you know, just something, something to sip on. Uh, by the way, I went to uh, Gab Gabi, Gabi Boutique, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. Unreal. Like, unreal. That Good, place right? was phenomenal. Uh, I tried the, um, I think it's called like, the Burnt Brown Sugar Cronut. Okay. And, then I, and then I had the pina colada donut. Wow. I, I haven't had the pina colada donut. Their breakfast sandwiches are very good. They're oh. made with like a donut oh, as wow. the bun, and they're very, very good. It's very sensitive information here, Donnie. <laughs> Speaking of food, <coughs> I'm kind of hungry. Uh, Razai, ace queen offsuit, 12 big blinds. We're not seeing the old all-in move before the flop as frequently as we used to off a 12 big blind stack. We're seeing generally smaller raise sizes. Oh, this looks pretty serious, though. Very committal raise from Razai here. Of course, happy to get it in there with ace-queen offset. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me, sir. Sexioglu. The burgers, as we affectionately refer to them as. Now considering, how do I get the most out of this? Can I get Bonomo involved somehow? Call. Makes the call. Bonomo out of the way. Rezai has a few crumbs left behind. 
question now becomes for Kisakshioglu. Do I check to him? Do I just put them all in? What's well, going to look weaker as we see King Jack 6 roll off the deck? Does give some outs here to Razai. I mean, not, not the worst um, <laughs> flop in the world. 165. There it is. Orpen all in. Razai makes the call. He's got those nut outs. A 10 would give Razai the double up. Running Queens would do it too. Yeah. He's got some stuff working for him. Turn card three of hearts. Now down to just four tens. Or Rezai will be eliminated. We'll be down to the final four. Final four will make over $100,000. Kisak Shioglu with a chance here to become a real contender. River card oh. is the oh. 10 of diamonds. Hello. Wow. 165. Daniel Rezai drills it on the river. And the aces of Kisak Shioglu are cracked. Rip up those cards. I guess the only silver lining there is that Kisat Chikoglu is still alive. Rezai didn't have the biggest stack to start that hand, so he does have some fighting chips Someone left, does Orpin. Fewer than 10 big blinds, though, but still in the mix and can, and can turn things back around. It's happening for me almost all the time, weird stuff. Wow, what a turn of events. Orpin was one card away from having 1.3 million. Now all of a sudden, he's got 300k and looking for a quick double up. It's never easy. Absolutely poker, never easy. Poker is so damn heartbreaking. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> yeah, Razai knows, dude. <laughs> a 10 on the river, that 10 of diamonds. Maybe he'll add that to his arm sleeve tattoo, you know? Wow. The 10 of diamonds saving... Daniel Razai keeping him alive. Uh, Donnie, just for speculation purposes, what would a win do for Razai as far as the chances of him winning the purple jacket? I mean, it, it would get him closer. <laughs> um, I mean, Razai is lower on the leaderboard as compared to these other players uh, coming in with 133 <laughs> points. Um, so that yeah. said, if, if he goes on to win, gets those 200 points, That's he moves up to 333. Puts him in the top five, top okay. four, top five, something like that. So, Did you say 640 or 740? 640. Judging by what we think the 50K is going to get, it would put him in contention, right, to then go on and win. There's probably going to be three or 400 points up top in the 50K. So, I would think that, you know, the top 10, maybe 12 to 15 players on the Poker Masters leaderboard entering that final event could all chase down Vladis Tomasowskis. Of course, we could certainly see, and, and I would expect to see, Tomasowskis in the 50K. Oh, so, yeah. you know, if he goes on to make a run into the money, goes on to cash, then um, he's, he's probably probably going to end up winning that purple jacket. But, you know, still a lot of poker to be played. We did install the, the rule that you do have to have two caches. <laughs> oh. you know, not that anyone would come out and just do it based on what we think, but let's say the 50K gets 100 players and there's 700 points up top. Well, you, know, you can't just walk in the door, win that event, and win the purple jacket. A round of walks, why not? I like that rule, actually. In the modern poker, back then it was a round of straddles, now it's a round of walks. <laughs> Times change. Caitlin Jeffers has probably Googled Gabi Boutique saying, okay, these donuts look amazing. Donuts to me are very hit or miss. I'm telling you, you got to get that creme brulee one. Oh, that, next time I'm getting that one. I mean, that's this, that's th what they're supposedly known for. That's their thing. And it's it's so good. <laughs> it really is so good. i got to show you this Krona thing that I had. Animo coming in here with two threes. This should get through against the 9-3 off for Chewy, and it does. Bonham will still the chip leader here. The only player up over 2 million, Stephen Chidwick second. Of course, Stephen Chidwick got that big double up through Bonham to get up over a million. 
after getting those aces cracked, Orpin Kasechikoglu is the short stack. Five players remaining, guaranteed $74,000. Donnie, if for the rest of your life you had to eat either one donut a day or one bagel a day, what would you choose? For me, bagel. Although I'm pretty sure that most donuts are fewer calories than bagels. <laughs> yeah. so like I think that that's something that's a misconception by a lot of people. That said, I prefer bagels more. I'm, I'm less of a sweets guy. Right. Than I am to a. Uh, I mean, ba bagels are just. <laughs> I mean, a good bagel is. So yeah, good, like you know, good bagel out of New York City, something like that. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> even, even even when when you or or Maury comes to WSOP with a a fresh wafting bag of Einstein bagels, I'm there. Oh yes. I'm there 100%. Uh, Chidwick, by the way, is also here, raising up with a7 offsuit to 90k. Razai. Looking to expand his chip stack yet again. Ace 10 suited. Just comes with the call. Yeah, Rezai probably not looking to get blown off his hand if he runs into something bigger because this hand is a pretty good one with a lot of equity. You can just play it in position. I made a poll on. YouTube, by the way. Probably the most important poll I've ever made. I'll get my vote in. <laughs> Guess like Shioglu getting a bit of a price here, but he is so short, he's going to just save those chips. Okay. Chidwick is dominated here. 9-8 deuce, two clubs. Rezai still best. Chidwick does have that ace of clubs there working. Both players with three to a straight. Chidwick picks this one up. Firmly in second place here, 1.5 million. Quite a bit of separation between Bonomo, Chidwick, and the rest. Six is here for Chidwick. Again, perhaps a raising hand under the gun. I feel like my brain has been retrained to hate on small pairs, but we're five-handed now. Perhaps we let loose a little bit. on a bit of a roll here, two in a row. Uh, Donnie, I was not lying when I said this is the most important poll that I've ever posted because <laughs> it is a very close race between the donut and the bagel. Are those both American things? I would, I have no idea, but I would guess that the bagel is American and the donut is not. Well, I was going to say the bagel Probably Turkish. <laughs> Producer Aiden snap turns around. Probably has the answer over there. <laughs> History of the bagel. I'm Googling it right now. I feel like whenever we say something ridiculous about music or food, yeah. Producer oh, Aiden's it, like, it's, boom. It's from Poland, it says. I've had Turkish bagels, too. Those are phenomenal as well. well what about the donut? Yeah, I know. It's Dutch. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, Oli Bolin, of course... 
is a tradition that I grew up with. Literally deep fried dough. Translating to oil cakes, just so you guys know. Interesting. Okay, uh, that's a new one for my resume. I'm, I'm just attaching myself to everything that comes from the Netherlands. Meanwhile, Bonomo flops top pair here against Chidwick with ace eight. Two over cards for him. Yeah, limped pot here, blind versus blind. So on the smaller side, just got 120k out there. Two hundred likes on today's video, two hundred and fourteen votes in the poll, which goes to show that people care more about the battle between the donuts and the bagels than liking our live stream. Eight on the turn, wow, bit of a game changer here as Chidwick takes the lead after the action goes check check. Still a small pot, Donnie, but we could see some money go in here. Yeah, I could see a little bit more go in there. The one thing that would obviously work against that is that a five for either player puts a straight out there. is going to fire out here. 90k. Cool. Jack hits on the river after Bonomo made the call. Seven. Seven versus an eight as the action goes check, check. And Chitwick takes this one down. Chipping up little by little as he wins his third hand in a row. Chitwick now closing in on Justin Bonomo. Here's a look once again. And for one of the final times, Look at our Dream Seed giveaway. Visit pgt.com slash gleam to enter our giveaway for free. Give yourself a chance to win a seat into our million dollar free roll. You can also scan the QR code on screen. Donnie, when I said earlier people are on the clock, they're really on the clock for this one. Oh, yeah. Clock has been called because the social media giveaway we're doing for Dream Seats, today's the last day to enter. Damn. Okay, so pgt.com slash gleam or just hit that rewind button and scan that QR code on your screen. It'll take you there. Completely free to enter. Completely free. So get on in there. Don't blow your opportunity to play in the PGT Championship. Here comes Orpin. King Jack suited. He's Hello. He's only I mean, <laughs> nine twenty. Wow. So Orpin, it's just been a horrible day for yeah, Orpin. I mean, I'm, he loses with the aces. Now he's just going to run into kings. I mean, what the heck? Unreal. <laughs> You said it earlier. I mean, poker's just brutal. I mean, it really is. Why do we even do this to ourselves? <laughs> well, we just have to sit in the commentary with these guys. <laughs> Why do they do it? I mean, man, oh, man. Bonomo comes along, makes the call, hoping for some action in the blinds. Kisakshioglu needing some clubs here. And a jack on the flop is going to feel like gin for him. He's going to find out that he is in a lot of trouble here. Well, if Rezai can crack aces, why couldn't Kisakshioglu crack kings? Yeah, very true. Two outs. Yeah, he's got half the outs Rezai had against him. That's no, that's that's Orpin mentally already out the door here as the fourth heart hit hits on the turn. Good thing no flush draws against him here. Jacks are live. However, seven on the river. Kisak Shoglu eliminated, and we are down to the final four. 74K there for Orpin Kisak Shoglu, the 
event number six winner here at the Poker Masters. Adds this fifth place, and I'm certain we'll see him out there battling in the 50K finale as well. The rich get richer. Yeah, indeed Bonomo they do. Chips up. Bonomo and Chidwick comfortable here. Andrew, how much do you have? 480 total. Thanks. Yep. Lucky Chewy, very short. 13 bigs to start the next hand. You're one of my only friends through poker who calls me Andrew. <laughs> I mix it up. I call you Chewy sometimes. You do mix it up. This seems yeah. like a formal setting. It's a, is it? Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing a collar shirt after all. 480. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a bucket hat. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Maybe someday. Hello. Hello. Wow. He's certainly not calling me Mr. Lickenberger. <laughs> Fold. Go, go, go. Go, go. I feel like Chewie hasn't aged <laughs> no. since he came on the scene. You know when you least expect it is when he aged for that one period of time when he looked like he was homeless. You know, remember that? Yoga, <laughs> Donnie. It was yoga. He was not homeless. He was just into yoga. No, he looked like he was homeless. <laughs> no hair, beard, you know, all that sort of stuff. He looked like he had aged his about 30 years. His car was running on used yeah, sunflower oil right. from McDonald's, <laughs> Donnie. <laughs> We'd be glad to uh, take a look at your policy. <laughs> it's the only time I really hear about <laughs> All right, we got about nine minutes left here on our one-hour free preview. However, we just decided that if we're able to hit 600 likes on the video, we're just going to keep it moving here. We're Whoa. just going to keep it rolling. Whoa. Yep. I asked the people for 1,500 the other day. 1,500? Yeah. Wow. But we had, we, had more, we had more of a head start. The, the people aren't doing that much work right now. We only got 246. At this point, last time, we had like 800. Jeez. So my return <laughs> is just completely – like you're better at this. Getting likes. I'm just more of a spam bot. <laughs> oh, wow. Hand. Here we go. Chewy looking for a double up with jacks. Yeah, and he's, he's trapping here, limping in with the two jacks, and then Bonomo comes with a raise. Good spot here for Chewy to do just what he seemingly planned, which is limp jam. Chewy sized on... Owen. 11 big blinds, and there it is. He's going to get called. Oh, oh my God. What wow. a disaster cooler. <laughs> As a fly landed on Bonomo's head. Did anyone else catch that? <laughs> Can someone screen grab that? That was hilarious. The lucky fly. Well, Kings against Orpin takes him out. Here he just finds the right side of a cooler, picking up the two queens, blind versus blind versus Lichtenberger. Tony, you just stepped on my joke. I was about to say Luke was about to fly out the door. As Lucky Chewy needs a jack to survive here. A 774 rolls off the deck. Do I? Turn card five. My no pre flop card distribution this tournament has been insane. <laughs> My river card distribution, not so much. Chief Leader Bonomo complaining about the river cards. I remember the front. Chewy <laughs> looking for a jack. Is it going to be there for him? No, it is not. Andrew Lichtenberger sent to the rail as Justin Bonomo collects another scalp here. 101,000 heading Chewy's way. And he's obviously going to gear up here for the 50K. Picks up some points. Knows that he's likely to be in contention with a deep run in the 50K. So we're coloring up or? And Bonomo now oh. sitting on more than half the chips once again. Here's a look at the standings presented by Storm X. Daniel Reside, the short stack with 24 bigs. Chidwick sitting on 43 and Bonomo on 70 as we are starting three-handed play. Only five minutes left. Let's get us to 600 likes to extend our stream today. Once again, my name is Rem Gorinka. My Donnie Peters alongside me. Hope you're enjoying the show. Remember when Reside had four big blinds? I know. <laughs> and now um, he's in the final three. Those are 250s high. Uh, this is 250. As much as poker is a brutal game, it's also beautiful. Oh, yes. Quicker. Yeah, as you mentioned, we should should see Andrew Lucky Chewy Lichtenberger in the 50K. 
We'll likely also see him in the Super High Roller Bowl. He was oh. talking about it the other day how he's very likely going to play. I do want to mention that you can buy action of some players in the Super High Roller Bowl on PokerStake.com. Oh. Daniel Negreanu, I believe, has 1% left to sell. Alex Foxen was selling, Chance Corneth was selling, and Jeremy Osmus was selling. So, I mean, it's a pretty good bunch to have a piece of. Did you buy some action? I did not. Um, you know, we, we tend to sit on the sidelines here, being involved with the production and whatnot. That said, you guys can sit on the sidelines at home, watch, and sweat along. I mean, <laughs> there's really no better way to stay engaged with these tournaments than actually have a piece. Absolutely. 9-6 and 9-7 going to war here. Not a whole lot going on for either player. Yeah, Daniel's got 1.5% left. The defending wow. champ. Why has no one <laughs> bought that yet? And, Donnie, like you said, this starts on Thursday? Yes, Thursday through Saturday. All three days streaming on PokerGo. $300,000 buy-in. That's amazing. Freeze-out, too. A freeze-out? <laughs> wow. You don't see a, too many of those these days. It's like a throwback <laughs> to, a, to a lost era. The era of the freeze-out. Oh, look at this. Chidwick with a raise with just nine high. Bonneville well lets done, it go. Chidwick. Very well done. You guys got four minutes to get 50 <laughs> likes on the video, or we're cutting this thing off. You, you guys are cutting it closer than I expected. I but think when, when I promised the 1,500, we hit 1,500 with like 30 seconds to spare and then some people unliked it and it went below so I pulled it back and we had to get people <laughs> to like it again. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Action on bottom here. A7 offsuit on the button. Should we let's go. Rezai probably would have been happy to get fifth today with how short he was at the start. Now on 19 bigs, he's got a playable stack and he doesn't have to make any desperate moves anymore. Oh, we passed 600. There oh, we go. Nice. Well, let's keep that train rolling. Let's make sure we hit at least 1,000 on today's stream. That'd be amazing. But we are going to extend this stream for you guys. And Donnie, Justin Bonomo, how can you ever bet against this guy? Just in time. As you mentioned earlier, second on poker's all-time money list, about $3 million behind Bryn Kenny, three-time Super High Roller Bowl champion. That is incredible. Could make it number four starting on Thursday. I feel like if anyone had a shot or was a favorite to, to make the final table, it's probably Justin Bonomo, just given the success that he's had in that event over the years. Chidwick here with a raise with the king seven of clubs on the button. Rizai and Bonham will both fold. Chidwick and Bonomo have been in this situation so many times. It must feel natural almost to be in a position to win a big tournament. What's Bonomo's results been so far at the Poker Masters? Do you have anything good going for him? Uh, previous third place finish in event number six, the one that was won by Orban Kasachikoglu. Rezai, by the way, has seven wins on his Henan mob. His largest win, cash-wise, only $25,000. Yeah. Could certainly change that today, that's for sure.
board pairs on the turn. Small pot here between Bonnemo and Shitwick. Between these two, Donnie, they're never yeah. going to give up anything if they don't feel as though it's worth giving up. Nope, never giving up an inch. Bonomo looking confident here with ace high, Donnie. Check. Looks all right, but it's going to really be put to the test if Chidwick fires again here. 390k out there, Chidwick with... Just three high. I mean, should explain the board. I mean, this is. If there was ever a spot where you weren't going to win and you just need to bet, I mean, it's, this is probably it. The question is, what does he put Justin Bonomo on, and will a bluff likely get through? Some people might think. I'm left with nothing, I have to bluff. But of course, the bluff has to make sense, and Chibik probably trying to decide, do I just give this one up and live to fight another day? Three thirty. Well, there it is. Nearly a pot-sized bet from Chidwick. Donnie, if you're Bonomo, can you find a way to call this? I mean, we've seen crazier calls. Ten seconds. It'd be interesting to see how many time extension chips Bonomo has left if he's going to really give this one some thought. Chewick, <laughs> the lowest possible hand combination, playing the board. Bottom one with ace high. Would be a very impressive call if he pulls it off. Fold. Does not make the call. The bluff gets through, and Stephen Chidwick now up to over two million chips. This 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 battle could go any which way, Donnie. It really could. It almost seems like Rezai is just kind of sitting there on the sidelines <laughs> watching <laughs> these two go to battle on a bunch of hands. Here's a look at one of our sponsors, NZT48. Scan the QR code on your screen to learn more. Mix Indiana says we could use a blender emoji. That's actually a pretty good idea. I like it. I'll have to get on that. Small pots are being played right now. Not seeing a lot of big pre flop action now that we're down to three handed. 140. Speaking 140. of pre flop action. Rezai attacking here with King-5 offsuit. 
All right, let's hear it in the chat. Who do you think is going to win this one? Bonomo is still the chip leader, but Chibwick close behind. And Rezai seems to be impossible to kill at this final table. Event 9 summary presented by our friends at GTO Wizard. 25k buy-in on this one, the final 25k buy-in before we get into that $50,000 buy-in finale. 37 entries, 6 cashed. $333,000 up top for the winner. Steven Chidwick just ripping down that kombucha. <laughs> All in. All in. Oh. Rezai ripping in the chips. Trying to get one through here with Ace 3 offsuit. Gets it done. Donnie, I asked the people who's going to win, and Jax Taylor said Phil Helmuth. He ain't here. <laughs> Where is Phil Helmuth? Honestly, I, I don't know. Um, probably up in Northern California somewhere <laughs> sleeping. That said, to be honest, I am surprised he's not here. And the reason why I say that is he had a successful World Series of Poker in some events that qualified for PGT leaderboard points. He had some success at the U.S. Poker Open earlier this year in the spring. He's currently 14th on the PGT season-long leaderboard with 1,304 points. So I would have thought we would see him out here trying to get some more points you know, kind of ride that success that he has had in the studio and also coming off the, the WSOP and try and get some more points here at, at the Poker Masters. The battle for the top 40, of course, will rage on. Plenty of events left to qualify. But if you don't qualify based on, you know, your performance, you might as well try to get into one of our giveaways. PGT.com slash Gleam. Today's your last chance to get into that one. And then also, if you're an annual subscriber to PokerGo, you're automatically entered into our final draw, our final raffle, for a chance to win a seat as well. So just be an annual subscriber. If you use promo code DREAM20, you can save $20 on your annual sub. Bottom up pocket fours on the button. Gets it done with that race. Lewis, can you pitch the cards to the box instead of over here? You got it. Thanks. Feels like we're treading water a little bit. A series of small pots just waiting for that big blow. So far, the fans think that Chidwick is going to win this thing. 51% of the votes. Bottom of 34. Even some believers, as Daniel Rezai gets 15%. I clicked Rezai. You clicked Rezai. I'm here for the underdog, you know? <laughs> Came from the bottom. He had four big blinds earlier. He's in third place with three left now. So I'm here for the underdog. I mean, he's going to have to double up or do something soon, but... I'm here for the underdog story. And this could go the other way. <laughs> Rezai limping in the Queen Eight of Spades, and Bonomo finds Big Slick here in the big blind. Bonomo making it 150. Rezai having invested 50K already, now having to call another 100K. Queen Eight of Spades does look kind of pretty, but out of position on the short stack. Well, I guess he's going to see a flop here.
10 7 deuce nothing there for Razai. neither is there for Bonomo however with the betting lead Let's see him take a stab and take this down potentially nine on the turn all of a sudden opens up some possibilities for Razai with the open ended straight draw relative to his stack Razai has quite a few chips committed here already Donnie can we take a stab here as a semi bluff I think he could bet here for sure I mean if, if Chidwick or sorry excuse me if Bonomo is checking back I want to take the lead here and that's exactly what he's going to do Bonomo letting go of ace-king high here, deciding not to bet on the flop. Probably a little bit scared of being faced with a check raise from Razai off the short stack and him having, like, you know, getting to be priced in. It's just a drawing hand, Rim. It is just a drawing hand. Let, let, that be, let that be perfectly clear. If you're just tuning in, we are streaming... The full final table, because you guys came through with the likes on the video. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Like the video if you just joined us. Let's get it to 1,000 likes here on today's stream. We'll be with you until a winner is crowned. Rezai gives it up. And there is Justin Bonomo finding pocket kings in the small blind. Kings now, again. Now, of course, the question is, does Chidwick have something to play back with? Because Bonmo, of course, is going to be chomping at the bit to get some chips in the middle here. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Are you kidding me right now? Steven Chidwick finds pocket queens, and where earlier Lucky Chewy had jacks versus Bonomo's queens, now it is queens versus Bonomo's kings, and earlier he busted Orban with kings as well. This man is unstoppable. Yeah, he mentioned not too long ago how his pre-flop card distribution has been out of this world for this tournament. More evidence of that right here as Chidwick's going to come with a three bet and he's going to be smacked right back in the face. Donnie, think of our spectator, Daniel Razai. He's just sitting there watching as these two big stacks clash. Yeah, he, he's he's uh, licking his lips a little bit, eyeing a nice little pay jump. <laughs> should, wow. Should Bonomo bust Chidwick here. What an insane spot here. Do we do we just rip the big stack in here, Donnie? I think it's a good spot for Bonmo to do All just in. that. There it is. Wow. Cool. Chidwick just staring at those two kings, probably thinking, Are you serious? I, I was <laughs> I was waiting for a comment <laughs> one way or the other. What an insane cooler here. At the final table, three players left. Justin Bonomo on the brink, brink of knocking out Chidwick, his biggest rival at this the final table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had Ace King against Steve last hand. <laughs> Absolutely insane. We had a bunch of good card ones, distribution like on here one, for Bonomo. They're close to the bubble, even like the Jacks versus my screen. Yeah. All right, Justin Bonomo, a clean run out of way of being heads up with a big chip lead. Here's the flop, 10-6-7, very clean so far for Justin Bonomo. Trouble for Chitwick, who's all but out of here. And Daniel Rezai eagerly awaiting a massive pay jump as the four of diamonds hits the turn, and Chitwick now down to just two outs. A queen and a queen only will keep Chidwick in the game. Otherwise, he will be our third-place finisher. 
River card. The deuce of clubs. Good game, Stevie. Steven Chidwick sent to the rail in third place, and all of a sudden we got Daniel Rezai heads up with 21 big blinds versus the 89 big blinds of Justin Bonomo. There it is. Chidwick eliminated, takes home $148,000. And the remaining two players, Donnie, battling for a little over 100K in this heads up battle. Wow. Absolutely insane scenes here at the 2023 Poker Masters. Justin Bonomo and Daniel Rezai battling it out for the title and, of course, for the points in the race for the Purple Jacket and that 50K cash Take your bonus. game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Ah, Octopi Poker. Octopi Poker. It is a startup that I have <laughs> with Victoria Lipschitz, Nick Schulman, a few others. Okay. And he's one of our advisors. Okay. And we're a poker tech company, and we have a focus on education. Mm -hmm. It's a very social platform, so you upload hands you've played online or input hands you've played live. There's a commentary functionality built into the studio, mm -hmm. so you can chat. You can, you can annotate it as the author of the hand, or you can have other people comment on it who have access to it. It's kind of like Google Docs for hand histories. Oh, cool. And then we have a few other things which I will share momentarily. What I would like to know is, yeah, can we invest and when is it going to sell for like $300 a share on the market? Let's talk after the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely signed up for your beta already. I know. Like waiting. I know. I saw. We're going to get you in there. Don't worry. What, when, when are we going to be uh, 100 millionaires from after this company is what I want to know. <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no crypto involved in that project. Huh? <laughs> it's not a crypto project. It's just poker. No, no I know. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, per, Eventually, one of the pokers... Has, we should have put a Shiba yeah. on it. That it knocked us. <laughs> Besides, like, an actual poker site, eventually one of the, uh, you know, other poker things has to do good, right? Why not this one? Yeah, I completely agree. I'm mean, gonna stop that. Like uh, Brian, uh, Victorian told me, like what they're doing the final tables. What's the plans? Like it looks really amazing. Like, That's what I was. I'm really curious, next. like how so this project is going to go. We're building a database of streamed hands, so eventually these hands that we're playing now will be in the database. Oh, nice! And you'll be able to look up, you know, if you have a final table or a day two, mm -hmm. check out hands that have been played publicly by people that you're gonna play with. Right. And then for commentators. They can look it up and see, like, oh, you know, when was the last time Chewy and Chino played against each other? Mm -hmm. How they do against one another? Here are all the hands they played. This is like data mining. You don't need the database for that. <laughs> but it's all public domain. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's like not like just for some people. Everybody can access it. It's exactly. also like not like huge. Back to back raise and take it's for Justin Bonomo, number totally. two on and poker's all time money list time behind Bryn yeah, Kenny. Sixty-two million dollars in earnings Chewy across just was three World Series of poker bracelets. Does a lot of his bidding beyond those borders. He won all of them. <laughs> and certainly well beyond I, I won most of them. some of the buy-ins that more. are available at the World Series. Bar the 50K PPC. I, I, remember it I, had Queen I think there's a 100K super high roller in there. That's the one yeah, and Bonomo has always been someone who strikes me as somebody that has a lot of work-life balance. He doesn't show up for every single event. He's not grinding all of the time. But when he comes to play, we find him usually at these final tables and with a lot of chips. He never has a vibe of a guy who's burnt out. No. You know, as long as he's been at it, and I think it has everything to do with that work-life balance, as we see Chewy jamming from the button. And important chips picked up for him. Listen to him talk a bit about that sure, investment. I have uh, Octopi Poker, one of the founders with four, Victoria Lipschitz. Nick 45 Schultz. behind. I have 445. I think that's oh, no. Sorry. I have less. Cool. Thank you. I'm getting real Gilligan's Island vibes Thanks. off of the Chewy today. I've been enjoying five. the style that Chewy's been bringing to the table. Hi, Leo. Hashtag positivity. Daddy loves you. you mean? <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm going to do that every final table I'm on for the rest of my life. I don't think anyone's <laughs> mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely sentiment.
fold. King four, not enough from the button. The third thing we have is a marketplace. So oh. anyone can author Gets their own walk. content. It's... Like right now, if you want to create a course, you kind of have to go through one of the existing training sites. It's really We're going to have software where if you oh. want to make a course, you can do it. You could sell it through there. You could take a small cut. And then, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's really anything for Especially for someone like coaching. me who doesn't know anything about like software development or like how to do a yeah, course. Yeah, you could just teach a Chino how Chino thinks about poker course. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. would be into it. Yeah. That's cool. Totally. I love to know how Chino thinks about poker because he's one of those players that he has always played a little bit outside of the box. And I think he was always ahead of his time and incredibly aggressive when players were very passive. And that has really been oh. finessed into the game that you see today. You know, he used to run sure, quite a bit a recent successes to go off of. with yeah. the brothers Mizraki mm -hmm. and you well, could kind of see their games really rubbing off on one another. It was very much, <laughs> as I'd characterized it on multiple occasions, street poker. Welcome back to the Poker Go Studio in Las Vegas, event number nine, the 25K No Limit Hold'em final table is down to its final two players. Justin Bonomo and Daniel Rezai are going head to head for the $333,000 top prize. Alina Jada and Maria Ho on the call on PokerGo.com. If you are a subscriber, please go check that out. There it is, Bonomo, 37 years old, three-time Super High Roller Bowl champ, 37 years old, and already raked in over $50 million in career tournament earnings. And there's Daniel Rezai, 28 years old, and his second final table of the 2023 Poker Masters. Big chip lead here for Bonomo, $4.1 million to $1.1 million. Also a big difference in the payout, 222,000 versus 333,000, and lots of points up for grabs in the race for the Purple Jacket. The trophy is on the table, cards are in the air, let's have some fun, and the question is, can Daniel Rezai make a comeback at this final table? Bonomo here, first hand, picks up pocket fours. By the way, if you're still with me in the chat, much love to all you. Let's get the stream to 1,000 likes. We're going to see it through until we get down to a winner. Uh, As we have two pocket pairs clashing, in, right? Rezai... Uh, you, you made it two million, not a million something. Oh, right, right, yeah, I was thinking 20 blinds. Uh, sorry. Oh, there it is, all in. And a, wow, hand number one. Rezai all in with sixes versus Bonomo with fours. Could we see a one-hand heads up here? This is uh, moving a lot faster than I expected. Big implications here. Bonomo behind, but can end it right now. Ace, nine, jack on the flop. Bonomo looking for a four and a four only to end the tournament right here on the spot. I mean, if the four doesn't come, we're going to have a battle on our hands because Daniel Rezai, ooh, five of clubs, so close. Daniel Rezai, as I was about to say, will have a real stack to fight against Bonomo. River card is the three of diamonds. Million. Two cards close Pulled to those off. that four, but neither one hit. And Daniel Rosina up to 2.1 million versus 3.4 million. We got a real battle here. Once again, my name is Rem Korinkama. You can find me on Twitter as well. Donnie Peters has left the building. I'm flying solo for the remainder of this final table. Got a few hours to make up for in my absence over the last few days. The shades go back on for Razai. Every hand in this format seems playable, especially when they're suited. Razai with 9-4 of diamonds. Probably getting in the mix here. Please, 
Ace Ace Five on the flop here after Bonomo called the raise Check. with Queen Eight offsuit. Rezai continues for 75,000. Bottom all lets it go. Rezai chips up yet again. Really funny to see the battle between these two players as Bonomo has so much experience and such good results closing out big final tables with the win. And Daniel Rezai, like I said before, does not have a major trophy on his mantle. Rezai is 2.6 million in earnings, has plenty of six figure scores. However, none of those are victories. If you look at Rezai's biggest results, third, fifth, fourth, fifth, second, third, third. Justin Bonomo, meanwhile, has a long list of wins. His biggest, of course, coming in the big one for one drop. $10 million score back in 2018, which was the miracle Bonomo year. He also won the Super High Roller Bowl that year in Vegas, as well as the one in Macau. Those three wins combined, totaling just shy of $20 million. Bonomo here betting 50K. Rezai has a heart. Cool. Gonna see him come along. Bonomo doesn't give up just yet. Bets again with Jack High, and of course the percentages show that he was ahead. However, don't think he'll be looking for value there with the Jack Deuce. Rezai gives it up, and Bonomo takes this one down. So far at this final table, Bonomo has won 15 hands. Rezai has won seven. I'm still thinking about that massive hand just before the break. Chitwick, Queens, Bonomo, Kings. What an enormous clash that was. Sevens for Rezai here. Very strong holding and heads up play. 125. Raises it up. And ace deuce here for Bonomo. Any ace is a good ace when you're playing heads up. Brennan in. in the ch in oh, wow. Bonomo moves all in. Rezai makes the call with sevens. And look at that. Daniel Rezai in a great situation right now to take a huge chip lead. Was this a major misstep from Justin Bonomo? By the look on his face, it seems as though he thinks that it is. Bonomo shoving to put Rezai at risk for 43 big blinds. And 10-6-9 rolls off the deck. That flop connects a whole lot better with Brazai. Bonomo looking for an ace and an ace only to end this thing. Eight on the turn gives Brazai a straight. And Bonomo was sitting pretty on 4.5 million just a few hands ago. Now all of a sudden, as the king completes the board, 
down to 1.1 million. And Daniel Rezai is our million. new chip leader. Wow. 1.6. I did not see that coming. 2. 2.1. Oh, yeah, two, uh, one, 1.1, 1.6, 2 million. Yeah, 2.1, 2.165, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a new chip leader. Exact roll reversal. Can I, can I just take a look? Yeah. I just want to verify. Compare to the one start point. of heads up play. Not too pleased with perhaps his play, but of course also unhappy about that run out. He still had 30%, but when it doesn't come in, it hurts quite a bit. Daniel Rezai, our tournament ship leader, looking for additional points in the race for the purple jacket. <sighs> Bottom limping in with 5-3 offset as we hear some rumblings in the background as players are starting to trickle in to play in the 50K, the final event of the series, event number 10, starting today. We're streaming 200. the final table of the 50K tomorrow on Pokego.com as well as our little preview here on YouTube. Lots of people rooting for the underdog. Daniel Rezai, I mean, underdog no more. He is the favorite now to take this one down. For Rezai, this would be this would be the standout performance on his hand and mob on his poker resume if he manages to close this out. With all that Bonomo has done in poker, he probably would not lose that much sleep over losing this battle. But for Daniel Rezai, right now, being the chip leader, having a chance to close out a big tournament, grab a trophy, pose for the winner photo must mean a lot to him. Rezai here, limping, 10-5 suited. Bonomo with sevens. Are we going to see him raise it up? Does make it 175. Side comes along with 10 5 of spades. 5 3 queen on the flop, two hearts. Bottom of sevens still best. Rosai does pick up a pair. Bottom of 125. Rezai comes along after hitting a pair of fives. Bonomo now left with a little over a pot-sized bet. Bonomo deep in the tank here. Big implications on what his next move is going to be. Bonomo burning a time extension chip here on the turn. Oh, 
225 is the bet. Let's see if Razai deems his pair of fives to be good enough to see a river card. There it is. Rezai comes along. We're building a pot of worth over a million chips. And Bonomo now only 545,000 left behind. River card is the ace of spades. I think we're going to likely see a fair amount of check-check action. Rezai in position. Bonomo first to act. If this goes check, check. Bonomo, of course, is going to rake this one in. Check. Can Daniel Rezai find a bluff here? Of course, sevens. with a pair of fives, he doesn't really have to. And sevens will take this one down. A huge sigh of relief for Justin Bonomo, who fights his way back into this match. Bonomo still the short stack, but that was a very important pot for him. By the way, if you're joining us right now, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It's very much appreciated. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. We're going to stream this thing until we get a winner. If it goes long enough, we might be able to tell you how many people are sitting down in the 50K, which is about to get underway. Limp from Bonomo, a check from Rezai. Bonomo firing 50 on the ace Jack Deuce. Picks up a gut shot to the Broadway straight. Razai has a gut shot to the wheel. Also, a backdoor flush draw. Oh, here it is. Check raise from Razai. Like I said, has that wheel draw, has backdoor spades. Not giving Bonomo credit for an ace or maybe even a jack given the way this hand was limped before the flop. Oh. Bonomo going to come along. The king, of course, would give him Broadway. Interesting hand developing yet again. And a four on the turn changes things dramatically as Rezai now picks up a pair. And with that, a lot of showdown value. Of course, that... <laughs> With that, I'm making the assumption that Bonomo doesn't have a pair, and that is something that Rezai cannot be 100% sure about. But he does continue firing 325. Rezai now, pair and a gut shot. Bonomo just with a gut shot and two overs. Bonomo lets it go, and Rezai extends his chip lead. Okay, okay, blinds are up as we can hear Paul Campbell announce. 30K, 60K is the going price for a hand of poker at this final table. Young Dorito asking in the chat who runs the Poker Masters? Is this in Vegas? 
This is at the Pokego Studio in Las Vegas. Feel free to come down. It is uh, right by the Aria Resort and Casino on the walkway towards the Strip. Beautiful venue. Players say that it's their favorite place to play poker, so I got to believe them. They've played all over the world. Payouts for this event are in the description of the video. But just to remind you all, these two are guaranteed $222,000. First prize being $333,000. Ten high versus nine high. Rizai with a nice looking ten, ja oh, ten nine, excuse me. Small pot here between the two. Uh, let us know in the chat who's impressed you the most at the final table so far today. Rezai and Bonomo battling heads up. Rezai was on the brink of elimination multiple times and now finds himself in a spot to take down the biggest win of his career. Bonomo, up until heads up play, did not make a single misstep and seemed on his way to a wire to wire victory. However, Rolls have reversed since then. And Bonomo right now trying to find a way to battle back into this thing. in the chat on YouTube. Let us know where you're watching from. Always love to hear where everyone is coming from. Kevin Christopher says, Team Rezai, who's with me? And I think Dan Rezai has picked up quite a few fans. Although, I must say, I was a bigger fan when he had Snorlax with him at the table. Growing up myself as a huge fan of Pokemon, it was funny to see him bringing out the the plush toy. Bottom, of course, has been in this situation so many times that I don't think his game is going to be affected by this at all. I am curious, though, if Daniel Rezai is feeling perhaps a slight uptick in adrenaline and nerves, given the fact that he is so close to a major victory. Rezai raising it up with eight deuce suited. Excuse me, limping in with eight deuce suited. And Bonomo looking to raise two ten with ace king makes it two ten to go. Curious to see if Rezai even wants to see a flop with this. It's only eight deuce, but it is still suited. Oh, look at this. Razai looking for some diamonds or perhaps looking for a way to outplay Justin Bonomo as we see 3 6 7 roll off the deck. These cards seem to connect a whole lot more with Razai than Bonomo, with Ace High still in the lead here. Seventy-five is the bet from Bonomo as Rezai looks down at backdoor draws. Backdoor diamonds, backdoor straight draw. 
might become costly for him if he decides to play this, especially given the fact that Bonomo will have less than a pot size bet left behind if he does make the call. Rezai potentially worried about a shove from Bonomo on the turn, so not getting a good price to improve his hand. And Bonomo gladly raking this one in without showdown. Shout out to those in the chat. I see Matthew here, Berkshire Hills, Massachusetts. We got Wales in the house, London, Tennessee, and the race for the jacket is on. We see Brandon Adams in the back, but more importantly, Vladas Tamasauskas, the leader, the clubhouse leader, 506 points, made back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back final tables to start out, start out the Poker Masters, winning two. He will be looking to perhaps make some more waves in the 50K today. Pretty cool to see a new name emerge for us. Tomasowska's so close to winning the Purple Jacket. King Jack 8 on the flop here. Rezai and Bonomo both with small cards. Interesting to see how Bonomo has the short stack, but he is playing more aggressively than Rezai. So, as I mentioned earlier, perhaps Rezai feeling a little bit of extra adrenaline or perhaps not wanting to take any risks being so close to a major title. It'd be a major title for me, personally, if you guys could like this video, because a thousand likes would really be a good look. All right, bring in those beats. Let's see what we got. Here's a look at Justin Bonomo's last five years. Wow. 2018, of course. 25.4 million in earnings. His total now 62 million. I mean, Brent Kenny is the only one within striking distance, and he was the one who overtook him for the top spot on the all-time money list. But if Brent Kenny was not a factor, Bonomo would be running away with the overall crown. Bonomo now... 3 million behind Kenny as it pertains to the all-time money list. Steven Chidwick in third place. 10 million behind Bonomo and losing ground today. Finishing in third place. Negrano in fourth with 51 million. Jason Kuhn also on 51 million in fifth. Then Dan Smith, David Peters, Eric Seidel, Mikita Bodzikuski, and Phil Ivey rounding out the top 10. 10th place, 40 million in total earnings. It's pretty insane. Small pot, we're back on the turn. Bonomo hit the seven. Uh, for Alex, who just tuned in, says, how did he lose his chips? Was there an all-in? There was almost back-to-back all-ins to start out heads-up play. You can skip back and check those out. Pretty epic hands. Bonomo now the underdog. Uh, meanwhile, as this hand is staying pretty small, Shout out to Ian from Denmark, Derek watching as well. We have some Tomasowskis fans tuning in. We have Brian asking, is this really live? Of course not, Brian. Why would this be live? This happened decades ago. Uh, jokes aside, seven. it is live. Um, bottom off shows a seven, takes this one down. What else have we got here? Oh, Russell is in rainy Seattle, but going to South Africa in two days. Russell, safe travels. Thank you for tuning in. JT watching from the beach in Florida. Watch out, man. Don't get sand into your phone. Could be a disaster. Lots of people missing Snorlax in the chat. Yeah, it was a good bit. I do like that. Don Burnham says, I'm having a youngling light in Pennsylvania. Now that's a combination I never thought I'd say out loud. Oh, producer Aiden says, yingling. Producer Aiden, the man of uh, many cultures, professional GeoGuessr player. 240.
Rezai finally fighting back before the flop, taking it down with Jack 3 offsuit as Dakota is watching from Dakota, Michigan. What, what is it? Is it Dakota or is it Michigan? I guess it's a, a place as well. <laughs> free, free bread <laughs> in the chat says, watching from Italy just before midnight. Free bread, you probably have the best name in all of YouTube. I love me some free bread. Jack eight off for Rezai. I'm gonna assume we're gonna see a raise again. Rezai opted to limp, and now Bonomo comes with the raise. Bonomo makes it 210 with the beautiful looking ace eight suited. Four seven on the flop here. Bonomo's ace high still best. Bonomo continues with a bet of three hundred thousand. Zai comes along with Jack-8, looking for perhaps some backdoor potential. It's not there for him as the seven of clubs hits on the river. Neither player with a pair right now. Yeah. Bonomo just has to check. Curious to see if Rezai is going to want to try and take it away from him. Three twenty-five. Oh, and there it is. Rezai is going to try and take a stab here. Bonomo left with just ace high, but still the best hand, as we can see on the screen. Look at this. Bonomo makes the call, seeing right through this bluff from Rezai. Five of diamonds hits on the river. Bonomo's ace high is best. However, he needs to carry this thing to showdown in order to claim the pot. The question now becomes, does Rezai have it in him to pull the trigger? Bonomo only a million left, 1.7 already in the middle. Does Rezai feel as though Bonomo might be slow playing something big here? Looking to extract some value. And Rezai is going to take his time here. I'd love to see a bluff here. Justin Bonomo would love to see a showdown, given that his ace high is the best hand here. Crucial moment in this heads up battle right now. All in. Oh, wow. Daniel Rezai moves all in with Jack High. Justin Bonomo looking back down at his stack. He's got ace high. Can he be the hero and call to double up with ace high here? That is the question. Let us know in the chat if you think that Bonomo has it in him to make the call here. 
this would be extremely impressive. And at a first glance, it seems as though Bonomo doesn't trust it right here. Bonomo recounting his stack. This is exactly why we watch poker, to see these big hands play out. And right now, Justin Bonomo, with the trophy on the table, overthinking whether or not his ace high is the best hand here. Bonomo has plenty of time extension chips left. Gives Rezai a little stare down, who, as always, gives away nothing behind those glasses. It feels as though Bonomo thinks that he has the best of it here. I really think you're bluffing me. I have to call. Wow! Bonomo makes the call! This is phenomenal stuff! Oh my god, for his tournament life, Justin Bonomo pulls the trigger, and that is why he is one of the best to ever grace the felt. Justin Bonomo back in the lead, and Daniel Rezai back down to 1.8 million. Can I get a round of applause for Justin Bonomo? This might be the hand of the series. Woo, baby. Poker is a crazy game, and Justin Bonomo just made the call of the tournament. <laughs> that was fantastic. And the crowd goes wild. Chat is fired up. Everyone's saying, this is why Bonomo is one of my favorites. This is why he's, you know, near the top of the all-time money list. Sometimes you got to make those big moves. Bonomo back on top. I mean, this thing is far from over. Back and forth they go. If you're just tuning in, we've been watching an entertaining heads-up match between... Daniel Rezai and Justin Bonomo. It's going to be hard for me to be more entertained by <laughs> any of the next few hands. I'm still trying to settle down there from that massive, massive hand. I guess to take this one down after hitting trips. He, of course, must still be reeling from losing that big one. 3.7 million versus 1.8 million. 60 versus 30 big blinds. Still a really playable stack here for the man from Austria. If you're enjoying the content, if you enjoyed, enjoyed that Bonomo call, don't forget to like the video. Get us up to 1,000 likes as Bonomo is uh, getting some extra protein in. 
making sure he is at full strength to take this one down. How do you guys in the chat feel about Rezai's chances now? Do you think that getting owned a little bit, can I say that? Getting owned a little bit in that hand is going to hurt his confidence in a way that Bonomo is now going to be able to run, run over him a little bit? Will the frustration set in? A little classier than Phil Helmuth with his food inside the studio. I do, I do miss I do miss a good Helmuth burger close up though. Cool. Bottom of limping in here with eight seven of hearts. 240. Oh, Rezai, three to his offsuit. Making it 240, perhaps getting a little bit out of line here. to that Paul Campbell getting the 50k underway Bonomo by the way made the call with 8-7 King Jack 10 rolls off the deck and Rezai shuts down immediately you would think that as the aggressor he can represent those big cards he decides to not go for it here as Bonomo also whiffs on this flop and Bonomo immediately taking charge. It looks as though Bonomo is going to get away with this one, and he does. And Daniel Rezai just got a whole bit shorter. I need some five kiss, Justin, please. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. Justin Bonomo in full control right now and back up to 4.1 million as we swing on over to the 50K. Look at that. Pick out your favorites. I see Adrian Mateos. I see Chris Brewer, Alex Fox and Darren Elias, Chidwick in the mix, Chance Corneth back, Bill Klein, the legend. This 50K is going to be a fun one. We're streaming that tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss out. Okay. Meanwhile, Rezai and Bonomo clashing again in a small one. Looks like we have four full tables to start the 50K. These two guys will likely enter as well. Might see some re-entries, might see some late entrance. It's going to be a big prize pool. 
250. 250. Hmm. Rizai hits a flush. Bonomo also has a flush, but his only with the three of diamonds. Bonomo saw through the bluff earlier. Can he also see through this value bet? Bonomo lets it go correctly, and he is on top of things here at this Poker Masters final table. Justin Bonomo still sitting on 4 million chips. It is his event to lose. And there's an interesting stat here. Daniel Rosai moves into fourth for the race to win the Purple Jacket if he wins today. Just tuning in, Poker Masters 2023 Event 9. Bonomo heads up with Daniel Rezai. Bonomo started with the chip lead, lost the chip lead, regained it with an epic call. Makes it 130 to go. Rezai with 425. Queen Deuce off. Fights back. But perhaps with the wrong timing. Ace 10, such a strong hand and heads up play. But Bonomo has been burned twice before by the Austrian. Is he going to play it more carefully this time around? We can see that this is a good spot for Bonomo. But he's already been shown. Strong hands when he made a move on Daniel Rezai. <laughs> Bonomo giving it some thought here. Justin Bonomo moves all in, and Daniel Rezai can do nothing but throw those cards into the muck. Daniel Rezai closing in on being down to just a million chips. Once more, the Bonomo stats, second on the all-time money list, three bracelets and a three-time super high rollerball champ. Rezai, king five suited, very playable. Makes the call again. Bonomo, queen ten suited. Also a great looking hand. Justin Bonomo hitting the gas pedal as hard as he can. Putting the pressure on Daniel Rezai. King five versus queen ten, both suited. <laughs> Would be a fair fight. Does let it go. Back to where we started. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's been a lot of action this heads up match. Uh -huh. All right. If you want to take your game to the next level, check out shop.pokego.com right now. We got a lot of cool stuff. 
High stakes poker shirts, hats, no gamble, no future merch. By the way, every single poker room in Las Vegas that I've been to over the last few months, I saw at least two people wearing no gamble, no future hoodies. Those things are going like hotcakes. If you want to look cool, check it out. Shop.poco.com. Bonomo limps in. Rezai here with a very shovable ace five of spades. One eighty. One eighty is the bet. Just the bottom of King Ten off. Looks pretty strong, but can we really fight with it? We'd love to see a flop. Bonomo makes the call. Four twenty in the middle. Oh, was it one to one? One to yeah, one to one. Hmm? Yeah. Queen 10 6 on the flop here. Bonomo takes the lead with a pair of 10s. Has backdoor clubs going for him as well. Rezai left with a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, is the bet Bonomo recognizing that his 10 is going to be good a lot of the times here? Rosai lets it go and is now down to 785,000 chips. Justin Bonomo chipping up, closing in on 5 million chips. What a match this has been so far. One of the most fun. Heads up matches I've seen in a very long time. What side are you on, guys, in the chat? Bonomo to win another one or Rezai to perhaps get that monkey off his back and get a big marquee oh. win on his resume? And 5 4 of diamonds, Rezai Seven comes with the shove. Is that right? 785? Bonomo doing some math here. Jack 8 offsuit. Perhaps a bit too light, but probably wasn't too far off. Jack 10 suited, he might have tangled with. Versailles takes this one down. Continues to Call. want to see flops here against Rezai. 10 6 offsuit, just going to come with the limp. All in. Oh, look at this. Rezai hoping to pick up some more chips, and he does. Almost back up to a million. Mac in the chat says, Razai should go all in every time. Steal the blinds or get lucky and win the hand. Don't let yourself get outplayed. I mean, if I was playing against Justin Bonomo, that's what I would do. Daniel Razai, of course, a very accomplished high roller player. But clearly 
in a lot of trouble right here. All in. All in. Again with the shove. Closing in on a thousand likes on the video. It's been a blast to call the action for you guys today. One more stream tomorrow, the 50K final table, which will also decide who will take home that purple jacket and the 50K cash prize. Six off for Bonomo. He's just going to continue with his limping strategy. King Jack six, Bonomo now also being hit by the deck, making two pair. Not a lot of danger for Rezai though, as he has nothing. Turn card, deuce of spades, Rezai now drawing dead. Bets and takes it down. Daniel Rezai sitting on 16 big blinds. Yeah, it's nothing to be too worried about, but you're going to want to double up at some point with the blinds being 30,000, 60,000 and going up soon to 40, 80. This time Rezai makes the call. With pocket sevens, Bonomo with absolutely nothing, just a nine deuce offsuit. Eight, four, three, two diamonds on the flop here. Pretty Six. decent looking flop for sevens. Rosai takes it down with a bet. Stu's offsuit for Bonomo here. Those are definitely fighting cards, as I love to call them, in heads-up play. That's okay. Again, reside below a million.
Bonomo now being very calculated, hoping to maneuver Rezai into a spot where, where even doubling up doesn't cost him a whole lot. Bonomo must know that he cannot afford a misstep like he had before at the start of heads-up play. And Rezai right now finds a real gem of a hand, ace-king offsuit. Let's see if he's going to limp again. He does, hoping for Bonomo to take a stab. Bonomo only looking down at five deuce offsuit. Queen eight six, nothing out there for Bonomo. Rezai also whiffed, but Ace King still must feel pretty strong. gets checked all the way to the river where Rezai spikes a king. Not a whole lot out there as far as hands to profit off of. Bottom of at 60k. At least Rezai will not take this hand down without gaining any sort of chips. Saravan is asking in the chat, how old is Rezai? He's 28 years old. Bonomo is 37. Rezai raising it up to 360. Bonomo with the quick fold. And Daniel Rezai now will back up to over a million chips. All right, you can hear Paul Campbell in the back. Lines now up to 40k, 80k. This means that we're going to probably see a lot more shoving from Daniel Rezai, who is now sitting on 14 big blinds. There it is, 40k, 80k, with the 80k big blind ante. Ace-Queen offsuit, monster hand and heads up play. We've seen lots of limping from him. I would not be surprised to see him continue to do so. And he does decide to just call. Rezai, Queen-Deuce offsuit. Gets to see a free flop if he chooses to do so. King deuce three, two dime or sorry, excuse me, three diamonds on the flop. Rezai with the queen of diamonds and a deuce. All of a sudden takes a lead. Ace hits on the turn and all of a sudden. Bonomo takes the lead, but Rezai still has plenty of outs. We could see some chips go in here. Okay. 
200k is the bet from Bonomo. Rezai has 985 left as of this point in the hand. Oh, there it is. Rezai makes the call, risking a sizable portion of his stack. Looking for a queen, a, excuse me, looking for a deuce or a diamond. And a queen hits on the river, and both players make two pair. Is this the disaster hand that Daniel Rezai was looking to avoid during heads-up play? Two pair versus two pair. Bonomo's got the best of it. Rezai checked immediately. Rezai must be thinking that this is my chance to double up. Bonomo limp before the flop, disguising the strength of his hands. And there is the shove from Justin Bonomo. Rezai makes the call, and it is all over. Justin Bonomo wins event nine of the Poker Masters, and Daniel Rezai once again falls short of a major breakthrough win. Still, a $222,000 score for Daniel Rezai. Justin Bonomo hugging someone on the rail. <laughs> Some Sorry. audible yeah, emotion. Don't bother showing up. Oh. It's like 235 or something. <laughs> audible emotion there on the Bonomo rail. $333,000 is his share. And another win added to the impressive resume of Justin Bonomo. What an exciting heads up battle that was. And here's a look at the final results presented by StormX. 37 entries, six players cashed. We lost Chino Reem to start the day. That feels like so long ago. Justin Bonomo takes this one down. Also puts himself in real contention for the purple jacket. Now up to 314 points, seventh on that list. Everyone, of course, still chasing Vladas Tamasauskas after this event. Chino Reem now in second place. And Steven Chidwick in third there it is justin bonomo's first ever poker masters title and another trophy to add to his mantle celebrating with his girlfriends my name is rem karinkama hope you all enjoyed this coverage as like i said we lost chino reem to start things out daniel Rezai was on his way out the door but managed to come back and finish second we had a really really stacked final table for you and we'll be back tomorrow with more coverage as the 50k will close out the 2023 poker masters thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow